Okay, so now we have the uh, manometer here that comes from CR Tools, and this is an application-specific tool made for the Porsche air oil separator. Uh, I'm going to basically show you how this functions. We take off the original oil cap, set it aside. This tool actually incorporates a genuine oil cap. And then we want to make sure that we have it zeroed out. So we are at 0, 0.00, meaning that we're reading ambient pressure. And um, again, you want to have, make sure the engine is warmed up. It's good to do this just after you've finished the ECU interrogation, so everything's still nice and warm. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and start up the car. Okay, so we want to let it idle and stabilize, so we're reading around 4.77. Um, the perfect number for this in our operating environment is a 5. Uh, we're at about 700 feet above sea level here, uh, where, the, where the facility is that we're doing this work. So a 5 is perfect here. So this AOS is showing us that, you know, it can probably stand to be replaced. It's not on the low side, but it's definitely not exactly where we want it to be. Um, if you see this number in the 6s and 7s or higher than that, it is definitely too high, okay? So when I start seeing numbers down around the 4.5 to 4.6 range, I also start wor worrying about the condition of the engine cylinders. We're going to carry out a bore scope evaluation as well later on to make sure we don't have any bore scoring going on at the present time. But one thing that can lead to an air oil separator not having enough vacuum is the condition of the engine components. Okay? So if you notice here, the, the unit of measure is INWC. This means inches of water column. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the proper manometer for this, like the CR Tools version. And even it has different modes. It also has an inches of mercury column. So you want to make sure you see the INWC for inches of water column. 